Alrighty, so this video, like I said, is definitely going to be different. Well, I've got my wonderful Sharp Lineatron and my Atari Video Computer System. And we're going to be trying out a lot of different games as well as, uh, well, getting to see how an Atari cartridge works. The first game I'm going to be putting in is my wonderful copy of E.T., the worst game in the world, which I can definitely say is true. This is a really bad game. Now, the story behind this game is that it was actually made in five or nine weeks. I can't remember which one it was, but it, it was five or nine. I can guarantee that bit. But it was made because of the Christmas rush. They, E.T. had just come out, and they were wanting to put the game out as well. It, it was There's another video that I'm going to let, put down in the description, but it's honestly a very interesting story. Uh, but yeah, let's put it in. Get it set right. I have the modulator set to channel 2, so that's, that's correct. All right. And it's gonna be a little fuzzy because it's weird. I don't get it. Hmm. This is as fast, like this is, oh. This was the part that everybody was complaining about. Yep. And now you have to restart the game because you can't get out. Yeah, that's, that's, what? This game sucks. <laughs> yeah, so not a whole lot happened after this. It's pretty much just me falling into holes, so I sped it up to make it more interesting, so enjoy the sped up weird stuff. Yeah, that was a lot more funny than it should have been. <laughs> yeah, okay, now just back to the regular video now. Okay, well, after you just saw how bad the game was, let's just, <laughs> let's just move on. Uh, now, I have probably about 40, 35 games for the Atari. And I'm just really right now showing you some of my favorites and EC. Uh, but this one's Centipede. I think most uh, people born before the year 2000 are going to know what Centipede is. But to be honest, this, it's, it, this is definitely going to hit spot as one of my favorites. This is just a fun game in general. I mean... Oop. Oh, I just killed myself. No, he isn't. Oh. Now, it is a little difficult trying to do it with this. I mean, you can... Ah. It's a lot easier to do it with the trackball, but still, honestly, an extremely fun game. I mean, there's... These older games, I mean, they're just so incredibly simple, they're just fun. Although, I'm still very confused of why... So that's so much stuff. Static. Let's just move on to uh, my next personal favorite. All right, well, my next favorite is gonna have to be Defender. I mean, this game is just overall just dang fun. 
I love this game. I mean, come on. Oh, I dropped the... Now the tube is kind of weak, I will say that. But for the most part, this is, this is honestly probably one of my best TVs. How did I miss all of those? I just killed somebody. <laughs> ah. Hello. Goodbye. I mean, this game is just dang. Ah. Uh, like I said, honestly, just a dang fun game just to play. I mean, it's an arcade game. I mean, come on. Okay, 13,900. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Let's go on to the next one. All right, now we have, once again, my next personal favorite. Actually, no, I'd say this is probably my overall. I mean, yeah, I love Defender, Berserk. It's, it's just here. There's, there's not a lot I can say. Let, let her get warmed up. Let me just turn up the tube. Whoa, that's bright. Okay, so you have it right there. It's gonna get just like that. Now I will say I haven't exactly found the purpose of the game, like what the goal is other than to kill everybody. But I find it funny how they kill themselves because, you know, they ain't exact, exactly the brightest. I mean, this, you know, this game was made in 1980. Okay. Actually, I don't know when this game was made. He's trying to get me, but he can't get me. See, that's my thing is that I said that could be made into a beat. I like that. <laughs> like some sort of Tron esque beat, I guess. Okay, not that fast, but yeah, it, it's honestly this game's just so. Haha! El Stupido. Ooh, extra life. Oh. Yeah, the higher levels you get, the harder it gets, but that's kind of, you know, makes sense.
<laughs> Backing up. <laughs> but yeah, that's 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 just how fast those things are going, or how fast those things are going. But honestly, every time I play this game, I learn something new. But the thing I've known for the longest is that these guys are retarded. <laughs> I mean, extra dumb dumb. I mean, look at this. Look. They've literally all killed themselves. I helped on one of them, but still. Look at that. It's so stupid, it's just inter It's just entertaining. Try me, stupid. Oh, he did try me. <laughs> and it worked. Aha. Are you gonna kill yourselves again? Oh, you are not. I'm dead. Well, 33, 10. No, I got more. Okay. Oh, no, it did start over. Okay. Well, I mean, honestly, this game's just flat out interesting. Now we're going to get into one of the interesting parts of this. Because uh, I'm also, just in case some people are curious, if you wonder what it's like to unplug one of these bots, that's what you get. Now, it's also what it looks like whenever you get an error code for something. Basically, if something does not work. Now... The way the Atari works, actually, not. Let me let me just show you. Now, when you plug something into the Atari, you see this little slot. It, nothing. You, you don't plug it. Hmm. Something doesn't go into the cartridge. This little shield right here, I guess you could say, goes down and reveals what is basically just a little card that's blue, glued in there. And that card gets slotted into this. Now that card is basically another version of this. This is what people did to, I guess you could say, if there was something wrong with the board that they couldn't replace, they would get one of these or build one of these. And, well, they would put a little chip into this, a little ROM chip. Let me show you what that looks like. So, when I say a little ROM chip, I mean this thing. Very strange looking little thing, but this is what, uh, this is the Atari game, pretty much. This, this is, if you've ever wondered what it looked like on the inside of an Atari con or a cartridge, something similar to this, which is what puts it into the console, I guess you could say, with a little chip that looks like this. Now, in order to get one of these to work, all you have to do is put it in the right way, which uh, there's no way to tell which is the right way because the little labels have all kind of gone off. You make sure you have it up first. Hold on. There we go. There. It should be in. Oh, no, it is not. Pull down. That tightens it. It's not going anywhere. Now, plug it into your system like so. And if you're wondering, this is how it, this is what it looks like when it's fitting in there. See those little slots, and it should play. Now, I don't know what this is, or even if this works. Actually, I think it might be Frogger, but I don't know. Let's find out. So the Frogger it doesn't work. Okay. What I've just deduced is that I put it in backwards. Let me just, put, just fix that real quick. There. Okay. Oop, wrong button. Hmm. That is not a good thing. I'm gonna try another chip because I actually do have 
could few of these. One of them being Frogger. The others I have no. Oh, and Cubert. I also have Cubert on one of these. But I, I don't know. I have a game from 1978 called Riddle of the Sphinx. I have no idea. I haven't done any research on these. I've had this for like five, seven years. That's what it looks like when you have a bad ROM chip. Or when you have it in backwards, because it's not reading properly. So let's just see if it is. Nope, that's a bad ROM chip. Okay, well, I'm still keeping it, because it's cool. Uh, let's try this one. This one's bent all... Okay. Don't know what it is. Let's figure it out. Okay. Is this Yar's Revenge? It is Yar's Revenge. Okay, well, I have the actual cartridge to this game, but it's... Yeah, that's, it's yours Revenge. If you don't know what that is, uh, I'll do another video on that, because that actually has a story behind it as well. That would be fun to tell. Um, let's try a different game, or a different ROM cartridge. Did I already try this one? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's put that sucker in there. Closure up. Wrong way. Yeah, it can be finicky. It's very selective of what it wants to do versus what it is doing, so it, it's... Oh, look at there, some more... Ooh, that's a creepy one. That's a very creepy one. Okay, this ROM does not currently work. Quite obviously. Ooh, quite hot too, that might be an issue. Uh, let's try this one, unless I've already tried this. I think this is the one that I just, I think this might be, uh, Oh, what is this? Eye Magic, 1982. This, is this... Is this three... Is this 3D Atari? This is 3D Atari. Okay, so this is some sort of flight simulator, for lack of better terms. That. If someone can tell me what that is, that'd be great, but I have no idea what that is. So we're just gonna break it, apparently. Okay, um, what's next? Let's see what this one is. Wrong way. Now this is, I forgot to mention, this is a... Oh, that was sour. This is Activision. Copyright 1982. Activision. Co okay, that's the same thing. Um...
I couldn't tell you even if I tried. That's... Uh, whatever. Okay. Um, I just... I put another one in because I don't even want to try to think about what that was. And this one is Mousetrap. Let's see if this one works. I hope it does. But I don't know. It does work. What is this? This is... It's, it's Pac-Man. This is literally just cat and mouse Pac-Man. Interesting. Okay, what's next? Hmm. Okay, so this one's also labeled. Pitfall. Does Pitfall work? Let's find out. Pitfall. Eh. Oh. Okay, it does work. Oh no, I fell down. I mean, it's... <laughs> Pitfall. Yay. Let's try another name, name one, I don't know, but that... I, I don't know what that was. This again. Great. Now I know I have three of the same game. Let's try this one. Ha ha ha. What is this? Dun 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 dun. Frogger. When I said it at the beginning. Well, anyways, I think I'm just going to go ahead and end it there. Um, yeah, make sure to like and subscribe if you want more content like this. Or dial-up thingies if you want to check my previous videos. Um, and also, yeah, comment if you want to see more of my... Wonderful Lineatron. Uh, not a whole lot to say other than thank you for watching the video and hope you had a fun watching experience. I don't know. I just, <laughs> yeah, hope you liked it. And uh, take care.